I don't know what to say. The Muppet Studios are there, Gary. I can't believe this. Better get a move on. We don't want to miss that bus. No way. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Kermit will be there. Working on the show has got to be a dream come true for you. Cause oh, so yeah. Understatement. Dream come true. <laughs> I kind of wake up every day and, whoa, this is crazy. I, I have to pinch myself. You know, it's a dream come true to get to work with these guys now for quite a few years. I, I, I pinch myself every day. I'm covered in bruises. <laughs> Doctor thinks I might have a condition. You're a new guy to the to the crew. Are you nervous to come with ideas or have you had a zillion ideas in your mind for years that you're, you want to make happen? Kermit is so open to, to, to all kinds of good ideas. Um, he's also open to all kinds of terrible ideas, which is why we made Muppets Now. <laughs> No, I'm teasing. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no, it's it's a really it's a really open group. You know, everyone's everyone's so well, most everyone. Um, I won't mention some of them, uh, but uh, yeah, everybody's really open to new ideas. And and actually, that was the kind of deal with this show. You know, we had this state of the art facility, state of the art studio to uh, just kind of go crazy and make a bunch of unscripted stuff, uh, unscripted segments. Um, oh, by the way, by state of the art studio, uh, I mean dilapidated warehouse. But you know, there's a, a Pepe came up with a game show idea called uh, Pepe's Unbelievable Game Show. Miss Piggy has this whole lifestyle segment called Lifestyle. I I don't say that around her. Um, and uh, oh, I'm not terrific with Swedish, but but the Swedish chef has a little segment that he came up with called. Uh, I, I know I'm going to blow the pronunciation, but it's um it's Ookie Dookie Kuken. Sorry to all our Swedish fans. And you also have a segment where you kind of find people's secret talents. Well, you know, I'm kind of a fan's fan. That, that's kind of my role here. You know, I'm the guy on the inside. And my segment is called Muppet Masters. And it introduces you to your favorite characters in ways you may not have seen them before. Excuse me, Mr. Kermit. Will these be produced in the state-of-the-art studio facilities I designed? Uh, well, that would be... Negative. To expedite content creation, we have procured an existing facility with a rich and storied history. Everyone has an impression of their favorite Muppet. Who do you do? Well, you know, I do, I do a pretty mean Kermit the Frog. I don't mean to brag. You ready for this? Hold on to your hat. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here. Yay! <laughs> I, I'm be probably better at that voice than the yay. You really got the movement there, yeah. That was <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Well, I'm limber. Especially in Zoom, it was just like a solid blur. It was a blur, really right? I thought I saw that on my end too. Let me see. <laughs> Yay! Ugh. I don't think I have the bandwidth for that. <clears throat> Let's say you're worn out. You mm -hmm. had a hard day at work. You need okay. to watch something Muppet related. What do you What do you turn on? Muppets Now. That's what I'm. Uh, Muppets Now. I put on Muppets Now. Now it's right there in the title. Muppets Now, you can watch it now. You don't even have to be burned out after a hard day of work. You can watch it Muppets Now right now. You know, I, I can't really, if you're talking about Muppets projects, you know, through the years, it's tough for me to pick a favorite. If I did have children, I would assume it would be like choosing a favorite child. What can I say? The Muppets are getting together to make some fun things for Disney Plus? Is that what you want me to tell everyone? Perfect. What do you mean perfect? Oh. 